being honored. Yes, it's so awesome. I'm so grateful. I remember talking to you the first time on the set of Girls Trip when you guys were in New Orleans. Yes. Since then, it's it's been amazing. It's been crazy. What are you feeling at this very moment right now? At this very moment, I'm feeling a little bit of hunger pains, but also super like joyous. I'm so happy. Like, so I've been just trying to control my emotions because like sometimes I get really happy and then I start to cry and stuff. And I don't mean to cry, but you know, it's like a removal. You know, crying is a removal of old beliefs and a replacement of new ones. And my old belief was, Dang, Tiffany, you ain't never gonna get invited to nothing like this. And then, look, I got invited. Not only did I get invited, but a nigga getting honored. <laughs> I, like, I, I ain't gonna cuss. I ain't gonna cuss on my speech. I promise. But you won't. You're gonna hold back. I might like, two curse words, maybe. But <laughs> four letter curse. Right? I'm gonna be like, bitch. <laughs> she ready. <laughs> I'm so excited because. Not only tonight are you being honored, you're presenting at the Oscars, you're hosting the MTV, wait, 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 give it to us. What? I'm hosting the MTV Movie and TV Awards. It's gonna be off the chain, baby! Oh, it's gonna be so funny. It's gonna be so much fun. Have you gotten any feedback from anybody or any help? Oh, well, I've, re I've been reaching out to a lot of my comedian friends and writers, so um, it's gonna be amazing. But you know what I just found out yesterday? that I'm going to be the very first African-American woman ever to host the MTV Movie and TV Awards. You heard it right Making now. history. At least I read it in the newspaper. I don't know <laughs> if it's true, but I sure read it in the newspaper. That's not fake news. That's, that's real. <laughs> it's a good feeling. I know you got a lot going on. I know you're emotional about stuff. You well, keeping it together. It's a good, it's a good yes, house. Yes, yes, yes. Now I just need a man. Where you at, Michael B. Jordan? Oh, is no, it I'm you? Just playing. You're just like, no, no. No, who we'll keep who else? Who else do you like? Trevor Noah, where are you at? He's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. That's my two choices. Guess who I was with today? I know you gotta go. I was with Oprah. My first time ever meeting her, talking to her. Doesn't uh, she smell like success and coconut oil? Yeah, she touched my arm and I was like, Ugh. Did you cry? I did no, I cried after. You cried a girl, I cried right there in her face. Cause you know, it, it was dream come true. Well, I only had eight minutes with her, so I couldn't cry. Girl, I had only I had about four to six. But I got her in the backstage. We talked for a minute in the backstage. She come, she my auntie. Now, I was gonna say, did it happen? Yeah, she's my auntie. Okay. We family now. Can we send hello to Oprah? Hey, Auntie O. <laughs> I love you. And if you need me to be anybody up for you, you just let me know. I'm not afraid to whoop that ass. And you know who I'm talking about. 